Hey guys, it's Billy and welcome back to Spill Sash. Today we're talking about Gabby Hanna because she posted a 43 minute long video titled Jesse Smiles, Trisha Paytas, Alex James, and Beyonce. Let me just say, this was so unexpected and totally out of the blue and oh gosh, let's get into it. This whole video was basically a giant apology video for everything that she never talked about. And when I tell you the timing was great, the timing was great because her EP dropped just a few hours later. So a bunch of people were trying to say that the timing was really suspicious and that she really wanted her name to trend so that her EP could trend and yada, yada, yada. I'm not sure if that was her intention. She did address it at the end that she thought that people would think that she was just doing this for her EP. And I was like, oh, way to remind us that it's coming out in a few hours. But she said that she never would have brought this up if it wasn't for Jesse Smiles making a video. It was literally a Q&A. And she said that she used her name, put her in the thumbnail. One of the questions that she put in the thumbnail was honestly something I could barely see on mobile. Literally, you have to zoom in to see Gabby Hanna's name. But she was asked if Gabby ever apologized to her since she made her video back in November. And here's the apology, I guess. Jesse's video was posted four days ago. So, I mean, if Gabby was really as upset as she said she was, she would have posted it the day after Jesse made her video, but she obviously chose to do it on the day her EP dropped. But anyways, anyways, anyways. All in all, I want to say she did a thorough and good job talking about everything and addressing the little nooks and crannies that people would have questions about. And I did appreciate her coming out with this apology. It was a little weird because she said she would rather handle things privately, but here this is i mean she's pretty much blocked from a lot of people that she talks about here so i see why she felt like she had to come out and address it plus i guess a lot of people on tiktok have been asking her to address these things honestly i did not think any of this was relevant but it happens to be i guess so here we go better late than never i guess but definitely suspicious timing anyways now i noticed throughout her whole entire video that every single friendship pretty much has the same story where she gets caught talking bad about someone and then they get into a fight and they block her. First, she started addressing the Jesse Smiles friendship, where a lot of people thought that Gabby and Jesse stopped being friends because Gabby sided with somebody that took advantage illegally of Jesse and did horrible things to her, ended up getting arrested. There was a whole TMZ article about it. Everybody thought that she chose to be friends with the man that hurt Jesse instead of being friends with Jesse. And so after this whole situation, a lot of years had passed and the two of them weren't really close anymore. But Gabby wanted to come out and clarify, hey, after I found out what he did to Jesse, I was never friends with him. She's saying that although he was arrested in October and she was still tweeting at him and stuff, she did not know about that until the articles came out in January of 2014. That's why she was still talking about him and tweeting at him in 2013. So that was what she wanted to say. She also wanted to clear up accusations that were made against her saying that she was talking badly about Jesse in DMs with fans, trying to manipulate fans into believing that Jesse was a bad person or she was lying. There are so many things that have come out between the two of them that have just been so nasty. And the fact that Gabby was ever involving fans in that was not a good look. So she wanted to clarify that anything that she ever said to a fan involved her just trying to defend herself and make other people aware that she never ruined her friendship with Jesse because she was ever choosing to be friends with the man that hurt Jesse. There were other things that led to them falling out. All in all, it seems like the last conversation that they had was pretty civil, but ended with Jesse blocking Gabby. So she's saying that's why she had to come out and publicly address this whole situation because she can't deal with it privately due to the fact that she can't get a hold of Jesse. Then she goes on to talk about Trisha Paytas, you guys. Trisha, I don't know why she wasted her breath on this, but those two are just a combination for a disaster. Oh my gosh, anytime you involve Trisha in drama and now you want to talk about it, I just think that's a whole mess because Trisha is unpredictable. She could hate you for no reason. And honestly, it kind of seems like Trisha had a little bit of a valid reason here, but just chose to stay hating Gabby and not forgive her, which seems like a very Trisha-y thing to do to just be like, I hate you forever. So basically, Trisha made a video about Gabby twice. 
talking very badly about her and basically this was Gabby's response to that. One of the biggest issues that Trisha had with Gabby was that Gabby went to Trisha's ex-boyfriend Jason Nash while they were dating and told him that she had herpes. Now Gabby wanted to clarify that she heard from one of Trisha's very close friends that Trisha had herpes and as a friend of Jason Nash's she felt obligated to tell him that he needed to have a conversation with Trisha and ask her if she had herpes. Well all in all Trisha does not have herpes allegedly that's what she's saying she doesn't have herpes but she was super upset that Gabby would be talking about her like that spreading these rumors and lies about her obviously Trisha got very 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 heated about this and said that she literally did not like Gabby and hated her and I guess Gabby got word that Trisha started to talk badly about her anytime she got the opportunity to do it and one time when Trisha was doing a collaboration with Gabby DiMartino I guess Trisha was talking bad about Gabby and Gabby DiMartino told Gabby Hanna and Gabby Hanna asked if she could confront Trisha she also said she had been waiting for an opportunity to confront Trisha about talking badly about her which I don't know why anyone would want to confront Trisha that just seems like you're going to be running in circles and wasting your breath but anyways she confronted Trisha and it became this whole drama Gabby T. Martino got involved in it she was not happy about it and obviously it didn't end very well for any of them it was just one big drama filled mess now when this whole herpes situation was happening and Gabby found out that Trisha was talking bad about her she was very public about defending herself on Instagram stories so I felt that it was super weird that she had to bring this all back up again because I thought she had made her statement but I guess not she wanted to clarify that she never meant any harm that anytime Trisha needed her she always tried to tell her that she was there for her she had a place to stay she had a friend because Trisha is always posting about how she's depressed and sad and lonely and doesn't have any friends and Gabby said she was nothing but nice to her so anyways seems like a big yikes to me and I just think that she has to let this one go I don't think Trisha's ever gonna forgive her for telling Jason Nash that she had herpes because that's Jason Nash is just a sensitive topic for Trisha. So Gabby wanted to say that there was never legal action taken in this drama. She said that she lost her cool and she chose to stop responding to the situation. With Alex James, he came out with a video around the same time as all this drama titled Gabby Hanna Girl Bye, where he said that there was a reason why she was blocked. It was because she had talked bad about him on a podcast saying that he was a very bad person. And when describing him, she didn't name him, but she didn't realize that she had a whole story time video with him, basically discussing everything she talked about on the podcast. It was very easy to find who he was and who she was talking about was a bad person. So she wanted to clarify why he was a bad person. And it was because they went on a trip to Miami and it, they went to a haunted hotel. He faked a bunch of stuff to scare her. She had panic attacks and he still continued to try to scare her and he swore that everything was real they had to move hotel rooms and at the end of the day they made a story time video together he then admitted two years later after she asked him once again that he did fake the scary incidents and so she started talking bad about him after that now she's saying that he only made that video about her to make a video because he wanted views and that he was just using her just like how he faked stuff just to make a story time video with her i mean he did apologize for scaring her in their text messages and yet Yes, it was really bad of him to scare her and continue to do it while she was having panic attacks. But this is really crazy. Like there's so many people that have similar stories with Gabby Hanna about how she's gone around and talked bad about them. Incidences of people blocking her. And that's, it seems like a pattern. I don't know why it's weird. I mean, I think she did a good job by addressing everything thoroughly and calmly. I just have weird feelings. Like, is this genuine? I don't know if this is for the EP drop. Is this to trend? I don't know. Then she begins to to dissect the whole Beyonce segment of the video. And this is some drama I just, I, yikes. So back in 2014, she tweeted out saying, if I could be any animal, I'd be a Beyonce. People felt as though this was racist and a lot of people have been currently messaging her asking her why she would say this and call women of color animals. Honestly, yikes. I think she worded it super iffy. I think I've heard people have spirit animals or if someone is really good at something they're like damn they're a freaking animal she says that she meant that tweet 
in a way that Beyonce was more than human because she was so talented. And that's why she called her an animal. She didn't mean it in a racist way, but she said that she was going to delete it now because it has offended so many people. I, 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 I. This video was super unexpected. I didn't expect to see Gabby Hanna talking about any drama because she really wasn't in any drama in my eyes. Like on Twitter is really where I see a lot of people getting canceled and she hasn't been getting talked about for any negative reason as of recent, but if people are saying that they've been attacking her on TikTok, then I guess this video was warranted. I just felt as though it was super random and I had to like go back and research what each video she was referencing and each drama with each person was referencing and well, here we are guys. So let me know what you guys thought about her video and if you accept her apology, if you think the timing was a little weird. I'm very curious to hear what you guys have to say. Anyways, I love you guys so much. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.